Ever heard of TurboTax? It's a familiar name in the American tax scene. Year year, countless Americans eagerly download the latest TurboTax software, hunting for the biggest possible tax refund. As of 2024, with the average refund climbing to $3,145, the anticipation for that refund check has only intensified. TurboTax, a brand that's become synonymous with simplicity and guidance in the tax preparation world, now commands a staggering 75% market share of all tax prep revenue. With profits soaring to $14.4 billion in 2023, it would seem that TurboTax and its parent company, Intuit, are doing something right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. But is there more to this success story than meets the eye? It seems that beneath the glossy exterior of this popular tax filing product, there's a darker underbelly. It's no secret that TurboTax is an effective tool for filing taxes, but there are other aspects of its business that might give you pause when tax season rolls around next year. The truth is, TurboTax, often marketed as a low-cost or even free tax filing software, is a major revenue generator for Intuit, primarily through the mass collection of consumer data. With a vast network of Americans relying on TurboTax to file their returns, the pool of data available is vast and deep. This data collection isn't just a sideline, it's a major part of the business model. In a world where data has become a major source of cash flow, companies like Amazon use the information gathered to create additional spending pressure on users. This practice isn't new, but it's becoming increasingly varied in order to cash in on lucrative usage opportunities. Intuit, with its wide range of business interests, has managed to create a comprehensive picture of individual financial health for millions of Americans. Through ownership of tools like Credit Karma and Mint, Intuit has a fully stocked arsenal of data gathering tools that can paint a detailed, data-driven image of the average consumer. TurboTax has also played a significant role in preventing legislation that would make tax filing easier for Americans. During the George W. Bush administration, TurboTax lobbying effectively shut down efforts to create a free, government-based electronic filing tool. Again, in 2018, the company was involved in lobbying efforts to derail federal designs on creating a centralized filing option. So, while TurboTax is a brand that millions rely on to quickly and efficiently file their taxes every year, the actual tax preparation and submission procedures involved in its operations are not as straightforward as they appear. In conclusion, as we continue to use products like TurboTax to file our taxes, it's important to stay informed about what's happening behind the scenes. Be aware of your data privacy and make informed choices. After all, knowledge is power.